now, Channel 3 Early Warning Weather. Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to Eyewitness News at Noon. I'm meteorologist Mike Slifer. We began the day like this. We had about a 10 to 15 minute window with an awesome sunrise across the state. Vibrant reds, oranges, the skies of fire. Andrew Urban sent this in uh, from Canton. Take a look at where we are now, though. To our north, we're starting to see higher pressure build in, breaking apart the clouds. We just talked about how we're actually able to see some blue sky in parts of the state. East Granby, one of the warm spots right now. 46, our network of neighborhood weather stations showing 39 in Kent, 43 in stores, 44 in Woodbridge. So not as mild as it was yesterday. Our wind still out of the north, which makes sense. We've got high pressure building in from the west and around high pressure, uh, wind moves in a clockwise manner. So if the high pressure is to the west of us, we would see north or northwest winds. And that's helping to bring in drier air. And that's what's going to be the key to letting us get into the 50s today. Early, uh, rather, a live look on our iCam right now in Waterbury showing these breaks in the clouds, 42 degrees in the brass city. These uh, will overspread the state as we get a little bit later into the day. A live look on our ICAM and stores overlooking the Yukon campus where things are certainly a bit cloudier. So the farther north and west you are right now, the more sun you see first. But Futurecast shows that we will eventually at least break most of the cloud cover up uh, with partly sunny skies expected later this afternoon, possibly even mostly sunny by sunset tonight. But it's short lived because tonight we bring these clouds right back. We begin the day tomorrow with maybe a couple of spotty mixed showers. However, the mixing line rapidly advances well to our north, north of the Mass Pike, just a little bit of sleet trying to hold on across northeastern and northwestern Connecticut. But by two or three in the afternoon, it's just chilly rain across the state. These showers continue tomorrow evening. And with a bit of a breeze, especially coming off of the chilly ocean, it's going to feel a bit raw outside. This is the high pressure that's nudging in right now. And this is the front that we have to watch tomorrow. It's really the key uh, to this forecast with high pressure continuing to move east tonight closer to us we reinforce that northerly, northeasterly wind direction. So as low pressure moves up through the Midwest, we stay on the cold side of this stationary front. That's why temperatures today are lower than they were yesterday. We moved the cold front through last night with some rain showers. Low pressure forms along this front, reinforcing again that wind direction. So through the day tomorrow, we just expect it to be a bit rainy and raw. We pick up about a quarter of an inch to a half inch of rain, around a half inch depending uh, on your location. Not expecting much in the way of snow. Futurecast has actually been trending to show even less snow and any snow that was to accumulate would be very short lived since we're expecting temperatures even at the onset of precip to already be in the mid 30s rising into the low 40s tomorrow a couple of spots at the shoreline may see the mid 40s our snowfall deficits as of today assuming we don't see any snow today which we're not expecting uh, over two feet in both the Hartford area and Bridgeport unlikely to see changes to those and the outlook still favors chillier than average temperatures as we get into the first week of April. So today, again, about 50 to 55 out there with increasing sun as the day goes on. We stay dry overnight, but clouds start to thicken back up. The early morning seven days showing the breezy, chilly conditions there expected Saturday. Monday into Tuesday, we see a bit of an increase in cloud cover. And by Wednesday morning, Kara, we could be tracking just a few uh, mixed showers. This is certainly a period of interest. There's a lot of model variability there, but we will give you the latest as soon as we know what's going on. All right. Thank you so much, Mike. And